Inspired by popular TV show, we are hosting the Apprenticeship Challenge at Global Academy. Our mentees and mentors will work together to create an extension to the Radio X brand. The challenge is all about creativity, teamwork, innovation, and maybe the odd disagreement, just like the TV show. We're kind of setting out the brief for them. We kind of expect um, a brand narrative around what the concept is. We're looking at the sort of target audiences. We're looking at the sort of type of businesses that would work with that brand as well. I think sometimes that initial concept can be, you know, it could be interesting because I think lots of people will have lots of great ideas and it's then actually just narrowing it down to one. And once they've got that one idea, then it's bringing them forward. Now the mentors and mentees are off to create their idea in a pitch within four hours in preparation to present to the big bosses. Let's see how they do. I think they're still... Some are yet to come out of the shells, but there's definitely some strong characters on the table that have taken the lead. Um, yeah, they're doing really good. I feel like the project will go like very smoothly and I feel like we'll get it done in time as long as everyone assigns things. There's kind of like already been like everyone discovered their dynamic in the role and everything and like we're just trying to figure out a main concept now. Oh, I feel like the hardest bit will probably be either designating roles like how to present, like who will present what or like Mm, everyone's like, everyone has mixed opinions, so trying to figure out what one will work. So, as part of our project this morning, we decided to split it up. So we've got our target audience there, which is explicitly clear that we've got the 15 to 44 year olds, we've got, and then for the advertisements, we want two two minute advertisements, as what Radio X Chilled currently does. And then we split it up into roles. So I am currently on the radio team as well as the marketing team, so I'll be doing the voiceovers, etc. later. And then we've also got the outdoor marketing team as well, so they'll be doing um, like surveys and stuff like that. But then, obviously, in addition, we'll be doing internal within global um, advertisements as well. And then Hannah is currently working on a brand new playlist um, from Live Acoustics, and they're going to be sent over to Sam, and then we'll work on the advertisements from there. The students are really passionate about music and radio and they're doing a fantastic job creating a new brand, brand extension for Radio X. Challenges? Probably, I think we, like, we didn't expect to have to do as much as we did, so time was an issue. Because we, like, we spent quite a lot of time at the beginning and then we are like, oh my gosh, like, we actually have to present it. So definitely the time aspect of it. I think they're quite self-directed, um, but, you know, it's good. It's just more of a natural conversation, like we're all pitching in, helping out, just helping to guide as much as we can where we've got the knowledge. Um, a, good, a good balance of different um, people from the company, um, you know, pouring in their experience, their knowledge, and just reminding the students um, if they haven't thought of something, just guiding and saying, oh, but did you think of that? But it's, it's working well, yeah. Currently we're working with Global and Radio X, so I'm currently doing the target audience for our um, extension of the brand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm working on um, our event slide, which is going to promote our extension of the brand. Yeah, it's um, going really well so far. We've got like our main idea, so we're kind of working on, it's kind of split up into groups to work on like slogans, scripting, and like we're going to make a little jingle, and then other people are working on the logo. We're all kind of like working to, with our strengths and stuff like that. I think when we start working on the presentation, people are obviously going to have different ideas on how they want to present it and who wants to present what, especially since we're kind of working in pairs or groups. It's going to be hard to distinguish who's going to like present which bit or whatever. Um, but I don't know, fingers crossed there's no conflict. They've got some great ideas already. They don't really actually need us that much, which is actually amazing. So we're just here to absorb. I'm here to learn as well, to be honest, because I'm a news reader, so I don't do too much branding. Um, yeah, it's really interesting seeing it from this side of the process as well. But in terms of actual help, no, we're, we're cheerleaders. The optional task for the apprenticeship challenge is to create a jingle or sound that represents the brand, just like how Radio X has its own jingles. The jingle or sound should be catchy, memorable and reflect the brand's creative concept and target audience. When we're in the radio studio, we're going to probably record like an audio ad on that will play on Radio X for our idea. If you love Radio X, you'll love Radio Exclusive. <laughs>
If you love Radio X, you'll love Radio Exclusive. Exclusive access just for you. All your favorite celebrities, all in one place. Watch it now on Global Player. Radio Exclusive. The brand could also collaborate with personalities and influencers who align with its values and creative concept. Individuals who are socially conscious, creative, and have a strong following on social media would be a great fit for the brand, just like how this group did here. Hello, it's James Hall. I am so excited to announce that I will be doing the brand new Radio X Unplugged Breakfast Show starting next month from 6am every weekday. You get all of the acoustic classics that you love, so check us out, all right? With moments to spare, the groups have to gather together and get their presentations ready in order to pitch to this event's big bosses. So we've done our idea, we've constructed everything and I think it's a good concept, so hopefully um, everything's good and we're ready to present. I'm, I'm excited, I reckon I've got it, I've got it. I'm not nervous at all, I think it'll go smoothly. Yeah, I think our group's really confident and we're excited to go. Hailing down from Global HQ, we have Chris Forrester, Desiree Ellis, Lauren Steele, and myself. So, let the pitching begin. For this, we got given a brief for Radio X and to create a sister branch off of that brand. So our group decided to come up with Radio X BR. Coming soon to Radio X. Radio X BR. Presented by none other than David Fricky. Tune in at 4 to 7 p.m. for the hottest blues rock. Or listen in on the Global Player. Get into the music now. We came up with the idea of Radio X Unplugged. We took inspiration from the new channel, Radio X Classic Rock, and decided to go more indie with our idea. We'd done some research on Radio X and saw that in the past they had done acoustic performances. This inspired us to create an all-exclusive acoustic radio channel. We looked into presenters that already worked with Radio X and decided James Hall would be a very good choice as he is young, has a growing audience and is full of energy. We somehow also managed to get a video from him as well to promote the channel, which we were very grateful for. The bosses will now leave the groups in suspense to discuss the strengths and weaknesses of each group and choose who will be crowned the winners of this challenge. Let's take a peek at how the bosses are doing. To all the heart brands, the Radio X, they know those brands, but gl the global brand is something that is not as prominent. I think <coughs> we have too much blue. We've got Global Player is very blue. Yeah. Global is very blue. Capital and Capital Chill are both very so, blue. Uh, 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 we sh technically shouldn't really look at it from... Uh, we should look at it from a... Um, a wider point of view, but that's probably harsh because they're not going to know those brands. I mean, as in, the concept behind it was quite cool, mm. as in, it's the blue colour. I thought it was really clever. I get your point. Yeah. You're looking at it, you, you probably know more about it than it. Than yeah, you would know, yeah. In, you a, would, in yeah. a forest, we've got to kind of be like... Stage, ...idea you guys in the room professionally can kind of sit on the stage and stand around you, one big photo shoot, and we're done. So pretty cool. Five, ten more minutes, and then you're sorted. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Well done, well done. Great work. Well, folks, that's amazing. So, um, uh, brave for all of you coming up here, really well presented. It's never an easy thing to do because we like presenting in front of people that you see all day. So, well done to the Green Team. You've all done brilliantly, but um, Green Team. I'm really happy we won. I'm very proud of my team. I feel like we came together and we worked together well and I am I really like my mug. I think everyone did fantastic in presenting. I was a bit nervous, like I was shaking, but I think it went very well. Um, Built technical issues, but everything went smoothly to be honest. Apart from that, um, everyone else did so well. Like I wouldn't be surprised if anyone else won. Shows how talented the kids at Global, I don't want to even call them kids, the students at Global Academy are. Uh, yeah, they're so talented and it showed across. Obviously we had to pick a winner, but it was quite difficult for us. Um, and I'm just really proud with the ideas that they, they've come up with. They've done really well. Yeah, it's good. Thank you. Um, do you want to hold? Thank you. <laughs> 
You can have a holding for <laughs> Yeah, it was good. It was great. I think the, from the presentations, uh, the way they worked with teams, um, ideas throughout were really, really good. I mean, bear in mind they'd had four hours yeah. to come up with all yeah, of this. Yeah. Um, they'd gone off, researched it well. They'd understand how to pull the ideas together. So all in all, really good. There was, the winner was excellent, um, but the, the rest of them came up with some really good ideas. Um, it was a really great day. Um, it was really interesting to see all the different groups and what they had to offer, and definitely some things I'll be reporting back um, when I get back in the office tomorrow. Yeah, likewise. Um, I am brand market manager for Radio X, so this was really good for me to see all the creativity, all the insights and market research that the guy had done, and um, that one out unplugged is definitely one to watch. Yeah, I think they totally nailed it. Um, there's definitely some areas where they might need to kind of expand some of their thinking, but in terms of the concept, in terms of the ideas, their creativity behind it, the presentations that they put forward, I think they absolutely did an amazing job. It was fantastic. And they definitely won over the board of big bosses and the panel of experts as well. So, yeah, definitely a successful, successful brief. And that's a wrap. The Apprenticeship Challenge. Thank you to everyone who participated in this event. We can't wait to see what the future holds for these bright students. If you're interested in an opportunity to do something like this, apply to Global Academy at globalacademy.com.